Welcome to this episode of Merrill Moments as we take a behind the scenes look at the Merrill Photo News. Hi, I'm Tim Schreiber, uh, General Manager here at the Photo News. Currently we print 14,500 papers roughly every week and those go to everybody that has a mailbox in you know the surrounding uh, zip codes right around Merrill. So as far as the history of the Folder News, we've been in business since the mid-1950s. It's a, a family-owned business started by the O'Day family. Through the years, they sold the business to Milwaukee Journal Sentinel in 1999. Since then, it has been sold again to multimedia channels. We're printed in Shawano, Wisconsin at a, at a company called Christensen Printing. They have extremely fast turnaround, good quality printing, and they ship right directly to the post offices for us. A year and a half ago, we went to U.S. Mail. It's much more reliable. You're all getting your paper if you have a mailbox. Every business, every home, every single home business, every mailbox has to have a paper in it. So we've kind of condensed a little bit. We're making sure that everybody around Merrill itself gets a paper where in the past we had a little bit bigger range, but actually less people are getting the paper because, you know, we couldn't get to every apartment complex or every, uh, you know, with our carriers. Hi, I'm Kurt Habig and I am the circulation manager for the Merrill Photo News. Take care of getting the paper out to the post offices and out to the people. I am Jennifer Gartman. I am a sales consultant for the Merrill Photo News and Tomahawk Leader. I am Diana Schneider and I am a sales consultant for the Photo News and for the Wausau Times Buyer's Guide. I am Tina Scott and I am the new editor at the Merrill Photo News. I started in December and I'm really liking it. I'm basically the person who writes most everything you see in the paper unless it comes in as a press release. And I'm always looking for ideas from the community. So I've been posting things on Facebook and I'm super open to people contacting me when they have a, a story idea. So I do all the photography and I do all the writing. How do you get most of your stories? Anytime an idea comes in, sometimes it just comes up out of the top of my head. Other times it is something that I saw on Facebook, something I heard about in a city meeting. Just any place an idea comes from, if it sparks my interest, I'll run with it. I like being able to report on all of the things that are happening and, and letting the community know the behind the scenes stuff a lot, similar to what you're doing with the videos. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to be able to inform them and, and people have questions. So I usually think about it and think, well, if I'd want to know the answer to it, so does everybody else. Mm -hmm. And so I'd like to provide that. And then other things are just the human interest part. I really like hearing other people's stories and then being able to share that with other people. We don't have obviously enough staff to get to all of the games. So we do rely on people to provide photos and we rely heavily on the coaches to get us the stats after the game and give us some quotes about how things went. If parents are out there and they're taking pictures and they get some good pictures from the game, those would be very welcome so that we could include a little bit more of that with the games. An added bonus during my visit was learning some interesting Merrill history about the building the Photo News is currently in. The building we're currently in used to be a funeral home as well as a furniture store. Back in the day when furniture makers made caskets, they did it all in one building. So this picture shows the flood of 1912. Caught in the background is our backside of our building. And the story talks a little bit about uh, how the SRAM furniture and undertaking business was in this building. That's it for this episode of Merrill Moments. If you'd like to learn more about the Merrill Photo News, stop in at the front office and see Heidi Schultz. As always, thanks for watching.